Okay, basic rule. A text cannot mean what it never could have meant to its author or his readers. A text cannot mean what it never could have meant to its author or his readers. Nagkakaintindihan yung author at saka yung readers. Madali silang nagkakaintindihan. Ang terminologies nila ay madaling naintindihan. For example, in the, in the epistle of John, John has three epistles. Nagsulat siya ng gospel, the book of Revelation, John lahat yan, bilabe John. And he has first John, second John, third John. Example, in the gospel, in the epistles of John, what is the sin that leads to death? Nabasa niyo ba ang first John? A sin that leads to death. What is that sin that leads to death? In the epistle of John. So we need to understand that that is clear to, to the writer and to the readers that the sin that leads to death in the epistle of John, first epistle of John, is the sin of apostasy. That is the sin of apostasy. Yung pagtalikod mo kay Kristo. Hindi yan yung, uh, yung mga maraming pastor ngayon na basta pagdating sa pulpit, kung ano na lang yung kasalanan, seemingly lahat ng sin ay leads to death. No, there is a sin that leads to death. Oh, a sin, ano? I, I have American student, three of them. I told them, don't eat salt. Why, sir? It's a sin. <laughs> Why it's a sin? Yes, that's a sin. No, eating salt, a sin? Yes. Why? <laughs> salt is a sin. <laughs> uh, until such time that they understand that salt in Tagalog is a sin. <laughs> I'm just joking with them. So don't eat salt, huh? <laughs> Madaling ano kasi sa atin, ano? Okay, whenever we share compa another rule, whenever we share comparable particulars with the first century hearers, God's word to us is the same as his word to them. For example, in the epistle of, of Paul to the Romans, for all have sinned. That is for all. That is for all humanity. Nobody, nobody in this world can say that he has not committed any sin. For all have sinned. So that the universality of, of humanity as sinful remains to be universal. Tama yung sinabi ni Paul sa mga taga-Romans, for all have sin. Tayo din naman, di ba? The same. Ano pa yung mga universality? The teaching of Paul that to the Philippians, whatever is noble, whatever is true, whatever is lovely, whatever is... What, the, the, uh, nine or eight categories there. For example, be kind. That is universal. That is for them and that is also for us. The teaching of kindness or the virtues. Applicable sa kanila, applicable sa atin. Pero yung mga mananalangin ng mga nakamay may belo, that's cultural. Di ba? Parang sa ito, may mga ganitong rules ngayon eh, sa school, bawal, magpakulay ng buhok. Di ba? Is that rule applicable? Eh kasi ako, administrator ng school eh. Hindi absolute dapat yun. Kasi yung mga puting buhok na teacher, pinapaitiman, dapat bawal din yun. Di ba? <laughs> Hindi pwede mong i-absolute mong rule yun. Well, katulad nung, ato, gusto minsan nung barbero, kulayan. Hindi, sasabihin ko ba, hindi, bawal yan sa school namin. Eh, iitimang ko nga para magbumata-bata eh. <laughs> di ba? Ang bawal yata, yung magpakulay ng colorful na yung mga estudyante, papagawang pula, green. Pero kung putiin na yung buhok mo, pa iitiman mo, tama lang yun. Di ba? Tama o oh, may tama? <laughs> may tama. <laughs> Tama yun. 
uh, we need to be, ano, alin yung particularity na mag engage sa kanila and at the same time, mag engage sa atin. Alin yung universality, may universality na mag engage din to them and to us. Yun yung magandang pag-read natin ng, ng epistles. Ha? Yung cultural boundaries na dapat uh, iba-iba tayo ng paraan kumain eh. Sino sa inyo nakapunta na sa Bangladesh? Sino sa inyo nakapunta na sa Bangladesh? Sila pag kumain magkakaiba, di ba? Yung sa Canada nga, di ba? May issue tayo no, na Pilipino nagkutsara, tinawag na ano, di ba? Nabuli. Dahil sa kanila, nagtitinidor lang, eh, no? Sa Asia, chopstick, eh, no? Kaya na pag nag-away, tinutusok sa mata, eh. <laughs> In, in the Philippines, normally, sa bahay natin, we eat by hands. Mas tiwala tayo sa kamay natin pag hinugasan kaysa sa tinidor at kutsarang ginamit ng iba, di ba? Lalo na kung mayroong may tuberculosis. Eh, kahit nasa bunin daw yun, mayroon. Sa Bangladesh, kahit na... Ito, isang nakita ko na cultural na hindi pinapractice dito. Sa Switzerland, nakakakita ako ng mga babae na naka, totally naka-gown, maayos na, pang office. Tapos magbabike. Habang nakabike, may hawak na... Red chicken, ini, o kaya inihaw na chicken. Nagbabike papunta sa os, kinakagat habang nagbabike. You cannot do that here in the Philippines. Ang sagwan, tignan ng dalagang ito, no? <laughs> Nagahabang ng gym, may manok. <laughs> Para masasagwa ka doon. Sa kanila, that is normal. Diba? So you cannot universalize what is particular. Diba? And you cannot just particularize what is actually Universal. May cultural ano ang, ang epistles. Kaya, what is applicable to them, to their culture, does not necessarily mean applicable to us. There are universalities na common practice. Kaya, napakaganda nung term ni Paul sa ano eh, I want everyone who worship the Lord to worship the Lord with decent dress. Decency. Yung decent na damit. Nobody can dictate what is decent. Diba? Kasi sa, sa yung mga missionaries na American doon sa Ipugaw, sabi nila, anniversary natin next Sunday, sabi ng American, isuot nyo ang pinakamaganda nyong damit. Ay, siyempre, Ipugaw yung pagdating lahat nakabahag. <laughs> Nagulat yung Amerikano. Wow, anniversary na kaganito. Ay, sinabi mo kasi yung the best dress eh. That is the best dress of the Ipugaw people. Diba? And you cannot judge that this dress is evil. At saka yung American godly. No. Cannot say that. Ayun, yung mga ano yun, particularity of the epistles. Don't take it as na makasalanan yung iba pag hindi pumatong sa yung antas. Na ano. Nakita nyo si President Duterte nung nasa Laos, naka, siya lang yung naka, barong eh, no? Later nung hapon, naka-Amerikanan na din. Mukhang napahiya eh na siya lang yung President na naka-casual. Uh, at lahat naka-American na nagpa-picture lahat siya yung naka, siya lang nakaputing barong lahat naka-Americans na ba diba? tapos nung nag-Americano na siya si Widodo sa Indonesia na cultural naman kami <laughs> 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 siguro dito hindi ko malawa ko ano yung susuot kong standard dito eh. ba diba? nung hapon naka ano na si Widodo sa ano iba na suot ng damit okay God's word to us is the same as His word to them don't take it It is still true that all have sinned, and that by grace have been saved through faith. That's universal. Clothing ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience is still God's word to those believers and to us. Okay. In the arrangement of the New Testament, the first book after the book of Acts is Romans. It doesn't mean that the book of Romans was the first epistle written by Paul. That is not chronological in his writings. In fact, there are considerations that Galatians was the first epistle written by, by Paul. Because it is being dated as early 50s or late 40s. In fact, There are scholars who insist that the book of Galatians was 49 to 
and Romans was actually 57 or 58. So don't take the, the epistles of Paul, the, epi, the Pauline epistles, as if chronological. No, that is not. It was probably arranged by those who arranged the New Testament according to its length most of the time. Well, in fact, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, it doesn't mean that 1st John was written first. There is best probability that 2nd John was written first instead of 1st John. That is a scholarly, a product of a scholar analysis. That 1st John could be the, se the second. Ang tendency kasi nung unang panahon, laging pag i arrange yung letter kung ano yung mahaba. Hindi. Hindi ganon. So the arrangement should be properly considered that it doesn't mean that Romans or letter of Paul to the Romans was written first. No, it is not. Not because it is the next to the book of Acts. No. We should be respectful to the, to the dating. And what is the relationship of the dating? It's good for us to know that dates are important because in the, in the principle of many scholars, even up to now, man is always a product of his time. Diba? We are a product of, we are products of time. Iyon ang difficulty ng mga parents ngayon, diba? E sino ba dito ang parents na? Yung magugulang, ah, magulang na. Ah, ayan, mga mga. Normally, what is our common mistake? We told our children, we keep on telling them, nung panahon namin eh, Diba? Ang sagot nila sa atin, panahon nyo ngayon. <laughs> diba? Iba na yung panahon namin ngayon, daddy. Diba? Hindi pwedeng yung anak mo ngayon, pagbaunin mo pa ng kamote. <laughs> At saka bayabas. Diba? Nung elementary tayo, pwede yun. Ako nga ganun, pero nakikita ko, baong ko nung kamote at saka bayabas, eh ang mga classmate ko, nutriban at saka ko. Diba? Inaabot ko yung notriban eh. Panahon ni Marcos. Diba? Hindi pwedeng i-dictate natin yung lifestyle natin nung youth tayo sa lifestyle ng youth ngayon. Yun ang laging common conflict sa bahay. Diba? Uh, sila time of gadget eh. Ngayon, ang daming parents na hindi nga alam ang gadget eh. Hindi alam mag-operate. Eh, ang bata ngayon, yung youth ngayon, bigay mo gadget, mamaya. Alam na nila lahat yan eh. Alam na nila i-operate, di ba? At saka ang kaibahan pa ngayon, yung mga youth ngayon, kaya nilang mag-review mag habang nag-music. Nanunood pa ng TV. <laughs> Samantalang ng time natin, pag nag-review tayo, kailangan tahimik. Di ba? Sabi ko doon sa anak ko, nag ang, uh, my son is studying sa Enderan College. Sabi ko, anak, nag-review ka ba? Oh, daddy. Ba't patay mo na TV? Bukas pa yung computer mo. Ay, dito ako mas makakapag-review, daddy. Talaga? Kaya mo yung ganyang system? Sayang ka ako yung kuryente. Hindi, daddy. Mas nakakapag-review ako pag may mga ganyang bukas. Nakakapag-review nga ako naman nagbabayad ng kuryente. <laughs> diba? Sayang, anak. So that's the ano. Yung conflict, laging yung pagdidictate ng henerasyon natin sa henerasyon nila. Ang conflict din natin sa Bible, if we allow the Bible to dictate our situation. You get me? Hindi laging ganun. So, may mga situation ang Bible na dapat sa kanila lang at meron ding universality na para sa lahat at may sitwasyon tayo na para sa atin lang din. That's ano, a good ano yan, analysis lagi ng, ng sitwasyon natin sa buhay. Okay?